Hector Longo from the Heat Tribune. I'm in the house of the Paul Neal Bill. Lawrence High School, watching the Lawrence High Land work out as they prepare for the Division I North semifinals against Lynn English. Lawrence, you're looking at it. Cinderella story of the tournament. 12 and 8 coming in. Nobody believed it. Nobody thought Coach Neal could turn this thing around. I'd love to know how they did it. That's why I'm here at practice today. A um, couple months. It'll be a great week in the Valley Sports. We got Central and St. John's playing on Tuesday night on the boys' side. And then Lawrence and Lynn English with Trevon Derry Rogers at Reading, Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Remember this the Lancers have been here before under Neil. They won a North title back with Hector Peniago, Francis Baggi, and Joey Burgos. This is a program that has a little bit of tradition right here. These are the people who can. So now that you can go after it, I'm looking to see what they can do this week, see if they can keep the Cinderella story alive. All right, so I'm here with Jesse Geraldo, Lawrence senior forward. Jesse, you've come alive a couple double doubles in the tournament. I gotta know. Just tell me, how have you guys done? I, I gotta be honest with you. I saw you guys against Chelmsford. It, it depressed me. I, depressing was the word I used. How have you guys turned it around and pulled, pulled off two giant upsets? Well, a lot of people on the mess, on them estimate us. You know, like we're just coming back, we're just winning these games. You know, working hard. You guys have, other than you, who are, is a pretty big guy. You guys are a tiny team. How did you handle Cambridge? Cambridge is gigantic. That big Jaquiel Taylor, six foot seven. Everybody thinks is a big time prospect. How did you handle them? Well, it took a lot of heart. You know, we worked hard, boxed style, You know, and as a team. How did you guys stay together? I mean, you get. I think people might have expected more than twelve and eight yeah. in the regular season. I bet you guys expected more, and you didn't have it yet. Coach never quit on you. You, you know, you guys, it seemed like the team never quit on itself. Yeah. Wow, how, how'd that happen? Like it's teamwork. We just believed in each other, you know? Mm -hmm. Hard work pays off. We and gotta get everything together, you know? And I guess it helps a little bit to win games when you got a guy throwing up 35 and 38 a night. Yeah. Jalen, I'll say, uh, how uh, special has he been in the playoffs? Well, he's been great because it's like the other games, he's like, you know, he's been like mellow. Just, now he's just amazing. Like, he's doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Jesse, you guys haven't gotten the benefit of the doubt. What are you going to do to stay out of foul trouble? You've been in foul trouble. You put up double doubles with, with very short minutes. How do you stay out of foul trouble against winning? Well, keeping your hands up, no fouls. Showing the ref your hands. Mm -hmm. You know, just working hard. This should be a pretty good challenge. Another pretty good challenge. That's a good quick team to look at. Yeah. All right, Jesse Ronaldo, getting ready for winning this on Wednesday night. All right, so now I'm with senior Francis Sprouse. Uh, Francis. We were about 10 feet away about a week ago. Yeah. And I, I think it was after a win, but I was, you know, I wasn't feeling it with Lauren's time. What happened last week? You guys turned it up since beating Chelsea. Well, it is a, we believe, man. We all believe. You know, we've seen this. We try, we try to do something this year, man. Yeah. We haven't done that since. We've been together since we've been like eighth graders. Eighth graders. We all know each other. We're like family. If you come here, our senior year, we're never going to play with each other again. We need, a, we need to play as a team, man. It's working so far. Francis, nobody's expected you guys to be around. It's a tough division one North you've seen in we've seen in 15, 20 years. Four teams are left, Lawrence High is one of them. What was the key to beating those two teams, beating Westford, beating uh, Cambridge? What was the key? He was, we, we believed. Mm -hmm. We would play defense, coach would tell us, yo, we could do this, we could do this. And dudes on the team, they were saying, yeah, we could, we could, and everybody believed it. And Folks, I'm looking at the power forward for the Lancers right here. I'm kind of looking down on At least look even to him. He can tell me he's six feet, six foot one. But he's more on the 5'11", six foot side of things. Francis Bruss, one of the best rebounds we've seen here. We've seen a big guy defender. He's kind of the heart, one of the heart and soul kind of type players on this team. He kind of embodies what you're seeing behind us. Kids getting at it. Guys who believe, it, like he says, like Francis said in their coach, guys who believe that they can get it done. You guys get a chance to go to the Garden if you win on, on Wednesday night. What do you, what is, what's it going to take? You say defense. It's defense and believing. Yeah. If you could do that and put it on the one, hey, anything's happen. All right, you want another shot of Central? Yeah. All right. Francis Sprouse, get back to practice. Yeah. All right, I'm no math this. But I can figure out that this guy is red hot right now. Jalen Alsea averaging 36 and a half points a game in the last two huge upsets for Lawrence High School. 
Jalen, you, you flip a switch, how'd you turn it on? I'm a man on a mission. Yeah. Our season, our season really wasn't that good, so I'm trying to make the best of it now since this is my last year as a senior. So I'm just trying to trying to get a state championship for my school. What's the difference? You got like you said, your season wasn't that good. Twelve and eight. What's been the difference in the last two games? You upset Cambridge, you upset um, Westford. What's been the difference? People, our seniors are they value they value what we have now because you know it's coming to an end. Mm -hmm. And I think that value wasn't there in the beginning of the season. Now we're realizing the importance of it. Only four teams in the North in Division One are practicing right now. Lawrence High is one of them. It's a surprise. Is that is is that urgency? Is that kind of driven you guys? It is because nobody expected us to be here. Mm -hmm. Nobody didn't even expect us to make it to the tournament. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to I'm trying to be the underdogs and surprise people. Mm -hmm. All right. So Wednesday night, one more step before the Garden. Yes, Tell me about Wednesday night. Tell me about Lynn English. Well, we played them. We played them a lot in the summer. I played them all four years I've been here at Lawrence High. In the summer? Yeah, they're real good. Real good team. They're big. They're always athletic. It's a great game to play. I'm not guaranteeing no victories or anything because it's going to be a game. One step from the garden, it's got to feel pretty good. Like I said, it's not. Uh, most of the teams have packed it up and are looking at baseball or spring track. <laughs> you guys are still here in the gym with Coach Neal. It's got to feel pretty good. Feels great. All right. Jalen, I'll say, and the Lancers, they're going after. Um, Winning this on Wednesday night. <laughs>